Hello friends, welcome back to Sales Depot Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. In today's video, we will show you how you can prepare a composite surface. Well, the composite surface is combination of two surfaces. So I will show you how you can combine two different surfaces together and what's the uh, benefit of it. So here I have one pond surface on my existing ground. If I turn on my existing ground into triangulation, you can see it's difficult to see both the surface together. So that is why we can create a, a composite surface. So it will be so how will the proposed uh, surface is going to be impact existing one and you can see the both surface in one and which is good uh, in order to show uh, demonstrate to the client. Uh, so that's why you need to create a composite surface. So let's create a composite surface for that. So for that, what I need to do, I need to create one more surface and I will give it to name a uh, composite surface. Uh, so once you could uh, create a new surface, let's turn on these two surfaces. And this one too. So now what you need to do, you need to go into composite surface, go to definition and edit, you will get the option paste surface. And I will add my existing ground surface first. Now I need to add my proposed surface to it, but I need to make sure that if I add my proposed surface, uh, it wouldn't affect uh, existing surface outside that boundary. So if I turn on my proposed surface boundary, so, and if I go in the 2D wireframe, so you can see the triangular sense. Uh, so in this case, if I add my proposed surface di uh, directly, those triangulation got messed up and the surface surround those uh, area will also get messed up and you, can, uh, you can't get the proper surface. So what I need to do first, I need to add a break line. So what uh, does the break line do that uh, it holds the surface on the edges and it get, uh, will uh, cannot get affected uh, my existing surface due to my proposed one. So what I do, I extract this boundary. So I go to extract from surface and extract object. I could extract the border from here. Once I done this, I'll close my existing ground completely. And go to label, no. Okay, now I get the border. Now you need to make sure this border uh, as a level as existing ground so if it doesn't you can go and create a feature line and you can give so i'll go to feature line create feature line from object select my line assign elevation click ok and here i can give existing ground and tick insert intermediate points so it will be draped on existing ground once you do that you go in definition of your composite surface go to the break line click add click ok and select that feature line and enter all right so you can see the triangulation has changed but uh, that's new triangulation created so the surrounding level will not change for that once you've done that now you can go edit again go to the paste surface and select your proposed surface this is grading group 1 and click OK and you can see your pond is created and your surrounding surface as it is. Now if I turn on the shaded view you could see. So that's my existing and my proposed and it will be completely one surface without affecting anything surrounding. So this is how you can create your surface existing and proposed, I mean the composite surface, you can change the level and you can see how does it look in a different perspective. 
Alright. So thank you. Thanks for watching our video. Hope this will be useful.